Okay. Paul, congratulations on getting the job. How excited are you about the challenge that lies ahead? Yeah, absolutely. I've been waiting a long time for this and uh, I'm delighted to be given the opportunity and looking forward to a long, successful career here. You know so well as a player around these parts. At what point did you decide, I'd like to stay in this game and become a manager? I think when you play into the ages of 36, 37, um, for the last five or six years you, of your playing careers, you're looking at things in a diff different perspective. Um, and you know, you, you tend to listen a bit more, you tend to uh, put your manager's glasses on and that's what I, t I wanted to do and uh, it's something I think I can be successful at and I'm just pleased I've been given the opportunity. Vast experience as a player and a whole load of managers, does that perhaps give you a head start in terms of your managerial career that you've, you've, you've played under so many different types? Yeah, absolutely. I've had some great managers over the years. I tried to count them count them down the other night and I think I lost count around 16. So uh, you know, I want to do things my own way but by all means I'll be... Uh, asking for advice from some of my former managers and mentors and probably taking little bits of their success out and um, adding to, to my philosophies and uh, hoping it, it, it takes me in good style. I understand Barry Fry and Neil Warnock have, have both been involved in the process. Have you spoken to them in the last few weeks? Yes, I have. Yeah, I've, I've, um, Barry I've spoken to uh, just the other day and um, uh, as far as Neil goes, I've spoken to Neil since I left Sheffield well, seven, eight years ago. We've maintained a good relationship and speak on regular occasions. And, always asking me advice and uh, he's, a, he's a good mate. So if you've been having your own management for the last five years, what is it about Burton Albion you thought, oh, I fancy this? Well, I think this, the club speaks for itself. It's a, it's a, a financially st stable club. It's got a fantastic ground here. Um, upon speaking to uh, Barry and, and Neil, they both said that the chairman is a wonderful chairman to start your career off with. Um, he's proven that, bringing Nigel to where he has done. So I'm looking forward to the partnership in that sense. and. Uh, just can't wait to get started now. Stability can be the key. Was that one of the attractions that Ben's been here for a Absolutely. long time? And, and the fact this this club and this ground has been built slowly? Absolutely, yeah. I think there's a lot of teams in League Two now that are suffering financially. This club is, is run to perfection. It's got a fantastic new stadium, so uh, it's a no-brainer for me. What success for next season? Just staying in the league or can you be more ambitious? Well, I'd like to be more ambitious by all means. I think if you don't strive for the top, then you'll never achieve that. So by all means, we're looking for promotion. But um, I think the supporters and, and everybody have waited a long time to get to league status. And uh, ultimately, we want to make sure we maintain it. And I suppose it's early days, but uh, you would be looking possibly to make a few adjustments to the squad, maybe make a few new signings? Yeah, I'm sitting down with some of the players uh, this afternoon, but uh, they've got a good squad and they're riding crest of a wave and they've done a great job last season. So we want to, uh, you know, we don't want to come in here and dismantle all that's been done. So there will be some um, adjustments here and there, but uh, it's tweaking as opposed to dismantling.